Hey guys, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the new Traxxas TRX4 2021 Ford Bronco. I got the new Ford Bronco right here from Traxxas. It is a scale uh, trail truck and crawler. <laughs> I am really excited to unbox this thing and take a look at it. It's got a really nice body on there. Really, it's just a TRX4. Though if you know what a TRX4 is, this is basically the same thing. But it's got this very nice body on there and I cannot wait to see what it looks like in person. Be sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscription button down there. If you already subscribed, double check. Make sure you still subscribe. People have been telling me that they thought they were subscribed and they were not, or they have been unsubscribed. So double check. Make sure you still subscribe. Like the video if you like it. Share it with your friends. Let's go ahead and get this Bronco out of the box. And of course, a standard Traxxas TRX4 remote with it with the button up here and the switch for the uh, differentials on top. In the bag, nothing special or unusual, just the manuals and all that good stuff. Just a couple of hand tools and of course the little tire tool. Man, that is a nice shade of yellow, I like that. Comes with all the plastic and stuff all over it. Let's get that plastic off. This thing is so nice. I really like this new Bronco. It looks so good. It looks so good with the exception of the little bit of paint right here. It looks like when they painted it, you can clearly see this was done by hand. And so, I mean, obviously that's what way it is, but it looks like they had masked it on the inside right there and they pulled the a little bit of paint off. I'm not sure. Maybe they painted it a little bit too fast. I'm not sure, but it looks so nice with so much detail. These hooks are made out of plastic in case you're wondering. Look how detailed that grill is. I know you can put lights in there too. It has a light kit and a winch also. This little piece right here, it's a little fake winch. You can put a, a real winch on there if you want. It's got these mirrors, of course, that fold in. So if you bump them on something, they'll fold in. They've got like chrome silver tape in there. That is super cool. Little windshield wipers, that looks so good. The little door handles, everything on here just looks so good. Little tail lights. And it's got a real spare back here. That's a real tire. And it's the right side tire, so if you have a blow on your left, I guess you're just out of luck. But the right side tire goes down, yeah, you're covered. It's got this clipless body system. You can reach up in there and, and fill it. It's easy to get to. That is so nice. I really like that. Take a look inside the body. See, it's got, there's the body mount system right there. The clip, and look, that's a lot of stuff inside that body, as far as like the frame and everything that holds it and of course it's pretty much a standard trx4 up underneath here if you're familiar with the trx4 at all it's got the locking differentials and it's got the two-speed transmission there's your servos for the diffs and there's the servo for your transmission a 21 turn titan brushed motor there's your steering servo up front right there it's got aluminum shocks on it i do like how the uh the center diff cover is a uh, a gray color instead of like a red. I wasn't a big fan of the red, but that's okay. I oh, like that silver tracks that's right there on the, on the chassis, on the frame. That's, that's nice. And of course, it's got the portal axles on there. So you get some really good clearance. All right, let's get a battery in it. Let's see how this thing runs. I'll be running a 3S 5000 milliamp LiPo. This is the same thing I run in my Revo and in my other 3S RCs. The body is really easy to put on. Just snaps on and it's on it's good all right so we are in that's high gear I think it's pretty fast for a crawler isn't it try not to roll it over and let's switch it to low gear that's top speed <laughs> so let's see how fast it is let's put a the GPS on there just out of curiosity to see what it does A whopping five miles an hour. Let's put it in high gear. And that is 10 miles an hour, twice the speed. So we'll take it to the grass. Yeah, of course it moves through the grass easily. So if you don't have a place to crawl these things, they're still fun to drive around.
Ooh. Oh. Who says RC cars are not a workout? <laughs> All right, guys, so we're out here at the mountain. I've been driving around a little bit. It looks so much better out here in the sunlight. I don't know how well this color is gonna come across on camera. It is a beautiful truck. It really is. All right, first real obstacle of the day. Let's see if we can get it up here. Help if I lock the differentials. Are they locked? I'm not even sure. I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Nope, they're not. There we go. Oh, it's going to tip backwards. <laughs> I'm not surprised I can't make it up this. Let's see. I, ooh, maybe I can get up. We're going fast. Ooh. I'm kind of scared to gun it, but let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> Good job. Got the little Insta360 camera right here on the side of it. And I've been rotating this around so I can get the good shots of the tires and stuff of it. This little sticky mount. So try to pull it off. Oh, it is. It's not stuck on there too bad. It's pretty good. That's pretty cool. All this walking down the trail like this. It's kind of the parts that I want to show you. It's kind of fun just driving it around down the trails like this. Every once in a while you have a stick or a limb to climb over, some roots. If I can get it in the shot. <laughs> and every time someone passes by this thing, they they like it. They ask me about it. Crawl down these roots right here. Easy for it. Let's see if we make it up a steep incline. It's a lot steeper than it looks on camera. I mean this is a lot steeper than it looks. I think it's going to be hard for it. There you go. So, got to be careful not to high center it over on this. Let's see. There we go. All right. Is real steep incline right here. We're gonna see if we can come down it. So uh, I'm kind of nervous. We're gonna, we're gonna put it in high gear in case I have to uh, speed down it real quick. Ooh, <laughs> that was awesome. Now we gotta get back up it. So let's see if we can do it. I don't know if it's gonna be able to make it. <laughs> it did it. <laughs> I 
it's pretty wild it made it up that, that that incline right look at that that is down inside of there it uh i know it's kind of hard to tell how steep something is on camera it is really steep i'm amazed it got it up there that is uh this bronco is really really cool the trx4 has always been a really strong rc and i really like this bronco i don't know if you can tell the the bumpers on it are actually a little bit higher than on the other bronco the previous version the uh the 79 bronco and so is the rear and so you got a little bit more clearance on the front and the rear and uh, it really does show i put them side by side i know i didn't show on the camera but it's not as wide as the 79 bronco either so it can fit more places Walking all these narrow passages, lots of roots, plenty of places to crawl this thing. This is, I guess, the perfect environment for it, huh? See if we make it this probably may have to line it up a little better. It's quite the drop. <laughs> All right, we've got a 55 degree angle rock there. We're gonna see if we can make it up. I'm sure it can. There it goes. Ooh, don't fall. <laughs> a little nervous here. See, I know the 79 can make it up it. <laughs> Look at that rear wheel putting some work. There it goes. <laughs> That's crazy Lost the camera. <laughs> this thing really crawls over everything, doesn't it?
thing is really cool. I, I really like the TRX4. All right guys, here we are at the top of the mountain. I'm pretty tired. I've been running around trying to film videos of the Bronco and stuff. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, Atlanta. You can barely see the buildings up that way. You can see the Bank of America building and I'm not sure what the other building is, but you can see some of the buildings in the background. And the lake we came from is over that way somewhere. But you can see from the very top of the mountain. So my batteries are about dead, so I'm gonna head on back down to the bottom of the mountain and finish the video down there. All right, we're gonna see if we make it up this and over all that. Let's see, we got in low gear. And you're probably wondering how I'm making over that. Me too. I'm gonna pop it in high gear, let it set in. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to gun it all the way. Let's, uh, see. Ooh! <laughs> Put it back in low gear. Oh, we got a little gap. Let's, uh, pop back in high gear and let's, uh, there we go. We're back in low gear now. Oh, that's a pretty big one. Hmm. Do the same thing before. Pop it in high gear. I'm, uh, I'm kind of nervous. Easy enough. Bring it on down. I know it's supposed to be a crawler. This thing is crazy fun to jump though. <laughs> And by the way, dealing with this clipless body all along, this has spoiled me. I absolutely love having that clipless body. That is, that is so, so nice. I am spoiled. <laughs> Trax is spoiling me with those clipless bodies. You can see right there the body rubs. So right inside of there, and that's the only place I see the body rubbing. So that's the only place you really have to tape up. I'm going to go back home, put some tape on there so it doesn't rub the paint off on the inside right there. All right, guys, so there you have it. The Traxxas TRX4 2021 Ford Bronco. What'd you think about this thing? I really loved it. I liked it a lot. This is my second TRX4, and it drives a lot like the other one. I do like that it isn't quite as wide as the 79 Bronco. It's a little bit more narrow on the front end. The bumper, it gives it more clearance. I can definitely tell in some different places. The rear end doesn't seem to drag as much. The bumpers and stuff have this, this rounded corner to it. So I like how the body is a little bit more narrow. The wheelbase is actually a little bit longer. I put it side by side. I know I didn't show it on video, but I put it side by side. The wheelbase is slightly longer on this TRX4 than it is on the 79. Overall, I really like this thing. We didn't bang it up too bad. Got a few nicks and scratches on there. Not, not horrible. It held up really nicely. I like this thing a lot. I like it a lot. I did fold in the mirrors a couple of times. I hit it against something and uh, the mirrors folded in. They did their jobs. One thing I did do is I hit the front end right here a whole lot you can see i actually broke this piece right there that little the little hook i actually broke it so you know that's not a problem i guess i got some metal ones i'll put some metal ones on there it did scratch up the bottom of it pretty good not too terribly bad but overall it performed great today i actually loved it i think it is a fantastic fantastic rc if you've never had a trx4 they are great crawler trucks they are great trail trucks they are just a fantastic little rc all around the battery by the way i have been out there out here for about two and a half hours it took about two and a half hours for me to, to run the battery dead so that's how long they last they last a long time but anyways guys that's all i got for you today thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed like the video if you like it share it with your friends appreciate it so very much and i will see you guys later